Hi everybody, um, well we're working on the buzz again today, we haven't done any um, sort of internal work for quite a while but today I'm going to try and put a panel in behind the passenger seat where for quite a while now we've had hanging a uh, power board so hopefully um, we're going to get the power board mounted into a panel the problem we have is where I'm mounting the panel is where the access is to get to the battery that will start the engine so if we build a permanent wall and we need to get to the battery we're going to have to remove the wall so my idea is is to have a folding fixed panel and then a folding panel that will open and close so we can get access to the battery behind the seat I'll give you an, a shot of it now of roughly where it's going to be and then we'll um, get down to the shed and we'll start cutting cutting and sanding and get it all sorted out. Hopefully we'll get it finished in this episode. Now this is what we have here. You can see the um, power panel here. Uh, it's been connected and uh, runs down behind into the battery which is just under the floor here. This little cover uh, comes up, velcro attached and the battery box is just under here. So my plan is to put a, a panel against this wall here We'll go up to the to the roof. Oops, I'm not losing. And we'll hinge. So I want it to come out to about here somewhere. And then it will hinge towards me so that when the seat is up, you'll still be able to get access to the battery down here. And on the back, on, on the front or the cabin side of it will be little shelves and things for maps, phones, iPads, whatever. And on this side will be the power panel plus the switches that are on the panel to operate lights and things that will go up here once all the roof line is finished. So we've already got power cables up here um, that are running to the existing lights so I just have to extend them down uh, into the back of the panel so when we open the sliding door we can just flick on the channels for the lights. And of course as you've probably already spotted we've got Jack um, supervising in his normal spot. That's his little spot when we're travelling. Usually pointing the other way. Well this, um, I don't think you've been in here before, this is my humble workshop. I've got a few odds and ends and bits. My workbench. As I said the plan today is to try and get these panels. So I've got some pine planking here. There's a piece here and there's another piece in that corner. I'm going to try, I'm going to try to make a, um, like I said, the wall with the hinges um, to go behind that seat. So I'll, I'll cut a few pieces. The hardest part is going to be actually getting the edge of the panel to match up with the edge of the door, which is obviously not very, um, it's not straight at all. So I will um, I'll give it a go and we'll, we'll see what happens as we go along. I'll try and get as much video of the process as I can. But um, you know what I'm like, I, I tend to get halfway through doing a job and forget all about the camera. But um, I'll try and keep it all on, on video and we'll edit it, get it up. Um, as soon as we... So here we are now dismantling what we've already done, um, that we did catch on video. Um, removing the, the hinges and we're going to sand down the panels and stain and put a bit of varnish on them, which you'll see as we progress. This is where we're up to. You see, I've got the bevel cut and edging cut to fit the breath to fit the wall. So that's ready. I've cut the slots and already pre mounted the, uh, the hinges. I've also marked and cut out the hole for the power panel. So this will be hinged to that, like so. This bit here will be fixed to the buzz and this will hinge to get access to the, to the battery box. And the wires for that panel that was in the thing run behind and into and down through the battery, down through this, behind this panel here. And as if by the magic of television, all sanded and stained ready for vanish. 
Well, I've just discovered something. It's probably not new to everybody else, but um, GrowPro works better if you put a, a memory card in. <laughs> I've attempted three times this morning to record something, and the GoPro keeps shutting down. <clears throat> and I just had a look at the fine print, and there's no SD card. So I've missed most of the, um, the sanding and the prep work. I had to go to, to our local Bunnings hardware store and grab some new sanding belts. But this, this is how it looks so far. I have, I've just got to put the hinges back together and then I'll go and fit it back in the buzz and we'll um, have a look at it and see what you think. I'm just going to hit it with a coat of flat um, Duramax semi gloss. So I'll put some of that onto it and um, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so um, I'll put this back in the on its little tripod and see if we can get some video. Here you can see me making sure the camera's working and test fitting the panel. The, the brackets are already fitted to the body of the buzz, so it's just a matter now of, of re-screwing everything back together again. A bit fiddly getting the power boards through the hole with all the wires on, but that's um, where it will fit. <laughs> Final alignment before screwing in the screws for the final fitting. I think I hear the postman arriving. Yep, yeah, Jack's going to investigate. Must be nothing for us in the post. Text back again. What I'm trying to say here on the video, but there's no sound. Uh, everything's fitting in. These brackets will be um, painted to blend in with the wood. The rail across the top um, is where we hang the curtain at night time to stop the lights from vehicles shining in through the windscreen. These are the switches for the lights. Various things will be attached. The 12 volt socket will be for the daytime travel with the fridge and the USB is for charging laptops and the like. You can see how this section is hinged and how it will fold out of the way to get access to the battery box just behind the seat. A wooden box will surround this um, electrical panel here and shelves and storage compartments will be built on this panel. And Probably painted white. I haven't quite decided yet. And now we're back in the workshop to show you a job that should have been done ages and ages ago. We never got around to it. We're just doing the edge of the bed 
that holds the cushion on while we're driving. Without this, the bottom cushion could just slide off the bed. So this is just the, the job we should have finished when we made the beds. After giving everything a light sanding and answering messages, messages and more messages, it's back to the sanding and the final stain. The stain is a dark teak and because of the pine's um, repellent nature it needed a double coat to get the um, texture that I desired. On the back of the panel, um, I've only done a very light stain because it'll be covered most of the time by the cushion. After allowing the stain to dry, I'm going to heat it with the same semi-gloss varnish that we did the uh, bulkhead wall with. Just to prove that it is a well ventilated area, um, that's why I'm not wearing a face mask. About 20 minutes later, a second coat of um, clear varnish, just to give it a little bit more strength because this is a, a high use area for sitting on as well as rubbing against walking up and down the passageway in the bus. You can also see on the rear of this panel. It's got a very, very light stain because it's not normally in a position to be seen. Just making sure here now to do the edges, make sure everything is sealed. I'm not expecting a lot of moisture in the buzz, um, but just to be sure. Back in the buzz now, just feeding in the screw into the piece. Then we can line, up, line it up with the hole. You can see I've folded the cushions out of the way for this job. Now the back best cushion goes in first and the best cushion goes in and squeezes against that to stop things moving around when we're travelling. Now my favourite auntie's quilt. Jack's checking out. Yep, he's happy. Move, move, pillows and cushion time. Come on, move, move. Hurry up. And that, folks, is it. Assume the position. Where's the beer? I was too early for beer. Where's the dog? Yeah, come on Jake, it's all finished now, you can have a salute. So I think that was a good day's work, um, still lots to do on the other side. Like I said, there'll be panels here, shelving panels across the back of here, uh, and cover up the wires. We can still get access to the battery once the seat's folded and the panel's out of the way. So all in all, I think a good job. What do you think, Jack? Oh, I must paint those legs black. Only thing left to do now is clean up the mess. Not right, Jake. Well, we hope you enjoyed our little video this week. 
and the second part will be obviously the other side of the panel but until then remember to please subscribe and like and we'll see you next Wednesday